Yo, what's going on? Welcome back. It's been a while, but you know, every time I come back, there's some kind of excuses that we have. So I'm just not going to give you an excuse. I'm not going to promise that these things will get out at a certain time. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's once a month. Maybe it's once a year. Who knows? Who's to say? What's going on, man? This pandemic. I don't know about you guys, but I'm just... I don't I like. I don't even want to go out and do anything. But the fact that like you are not supposed to just makes it even worse. You know what I? You know what I mean? Is that does it, do you do you understand what I'm trying to say? Like, you know, before the pandemic, I would go to work, and I'd come home, and then go to the gym, and then that's it. <laughs> but like, so it's not even like I was doing anything before because like. You know, I don't party, I don't drink, I hang out with my friends. So like, and then usually we did that on the weekend because everybody's working. So it's just like, I guess it's mostly affecting people and myself on the weekends because, you know, you spend your weekends just, I don't know about you guys, I spend my weekends just, you know, you wake up late, you sleep in, which is nice. And then I just watch TV, watch a movie, play some video games, nothing too exciting Which is not fun. You know what I mean? Like, I want to be able to (laughs) go hang out with my friends and not do something together. You know what I mean? That's where we're at. But, I mean, we're starting to roll out some vaccinations. You know what's funny? And it might be like a, a ploy from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Think about... Think about a year or maybe a little bit longer than a year ago when everybody was all up in arms about, and we even talked about on this podcast, where people didn't want to vaccinate their kids, anti-vaxxers. Everybody was like, oh my God, like, and myself included. Oh, you need to vaccinate your kids because blah, blah, blah. You don't want them to get measles, etc., etc. Now, COVID times... All these people that I'm talking to are like, yo, I'm not getting the vaccine, dude. Are you crazy? I don't need the vaccine. You don't know what's in that shit, dude. It'll make you go crazy. And like all, all this stuff when literally, literally like, I don't know, like I said, like an, a year ago, everybody was like, no, like people who are anti-vax are so fucking stupid, blah, blah, blah. And now here we are. You know what I mean? It's funny how the the... Everything changes when it's a new vaccine. And then before it was like, yo, we don't want our kids to get malaria and measles and shit. I don't know. It's it's crazy. And you like, you think about how we used to get shots in school and stuff. And then there was kids that didn't get them. And now do you think that it's going to be like another shot that you get at school, a COVID shot? Back in the days, man, I remember, do you guys remember shot day? And you always had like, you always had the people that were like, were like me, that were just like, whatever, we're getting our shots. And then we had like the criers who like, even just the thought of getting a needle, they would start crying. They'd be like in the nurse, well, not nurse's office, but like whatever office they designated for the needles, they would be in there just bawling. You would just walk by and they'd just be bawling. And then... You had the people that didn't get it. And you'd always be like, why aren't those people getting it? And now when you get older, you find out. Do you guys remember, like, I thought about this the other day. It was so weird. Remember back in the day, there was, like, this is elementary school, not high school. Well, actually, I think you did do it in high school, too. It was, like, the attendance sheet. The teacher would take attendance, and then somebody would go and take it down to the office. That's so weird. Like, as if it wasn't just... Like, how do they take attendance now? Is it all just like a Google sheet or something? You take your attendance and then that just gets shared with the office. You know what I mean? Like, what's going on in schools these days with with new tech? As you can tell, I'm an old man turning 30 next month, February. That's going to suck. But that's that's how dated I am. You know what I mean? Like, we had attendance sheets that they (laughs) marked off and... Someone ran it down to the office and everybody fought for that job because 
you wouldn't just go to the office. You'd just fuck around and go and, you know, walk to the other side of the school, walk around, go outside, go to the bathroom. You know, you, you just relax and then come back. But now, yeah, I, I, someone, someone let me know how they do it now. I'd be very interested to know. If they still do it pen and paper, that'd be sick. But I doubt it. Because people, are, kids are allowed to, like, have their cell phones in school now. When I was in school, we would get in trouble if we pulled it out. Plus, it was, like, a Blackberry. It wasn't anything sick. It's crazy. And, like, speaking of school, like, do you guys ever, like, you ever, like, have a memory that's, like, brought up somehow, however way it is, you know, like a song, or you see somebody you used to know, and then you just, like, randomly look them up, and, like, you're just like, oh, let me let me check what that person looks like now, and then you Facebook them, and they usually have, like, they're either, like, either really fat, so that's probably when people look me up, they're probably like, damn, he got fat. They're either married and have, like, 10 kids, or, like, a couple kids, or... They're like way hotter. Like what? It's so weird that we have the ability to do that now. Like back in the day, in like our parents' day. Well, I don't know how old you guys are, but when like in my parents' day, they wouldn't be able to do that. They would just like, you would just, all those people you would just forget. And then they would just be, you know, strangers or like people you don't give a shit. Like obviously I don't really give a shit about these people that I'm looking up. But do you know what I mean? Like you wouldn't even think of those people anymore but now with like the internet and shit like you could be like just scrolling through instagram or like facebook i don't like i don't know who uses facebook still but and then it says like suggested and then you see somebody's name and you're like oh shit i thought that person was dead you click on it and you're like damn son and then it's either the couple of things i said and then I bet you there's some, some psychopaths out there that send the friend request after that, too. <laughs> Not me, dude. There's no way. Unless unless it was the third option. They're, like, super hot now. But even then, I, I'm, a, I'm a bitch. I don't send friend requests. No, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm... <sighs> that's, that ain't me. That ain't me. Um... Yeah, what else did I want to talk about? There's so much to talk about, man. I was going to get Kyle on here, but that guy is like, trying to get a hold of that guy is like, I don't even have a good analogy for you. It's like, similar to unicorn, you know, often talked about, rarely seen. It's a rare sighting, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I don't know. And like, the thing with me and him and like with me in general, maybe you guys are, you can relate to this, but like it comes down to reply times on cell phones. So when I was younger, I used to like, if someone texted me, I would like feel bad not replying to them right away. I don't, I don't know why. So like you would text me at like 5.05 and by like 5.05 and 45 seconds later bam i already texted you back you know what i'm saying which is crazy first of all and not manageable but now now that i'm older and busier and just you know i try to not go on my phone as much i have it on do not disturb most of the time now it's like i'll reply when i have time and like not in the same way most people say that I think for me it's like if you text me something and it's like hey what's up then it's like whatever I'm not gonna feel bad but if it's like you know like I haven't talked to you in a while and you're asking me legit questions like you know I just moved how's that new job going blah 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 I'll get the text but I won't reply until I know that I have time to actually, you know, sit down and have a conversation with you. Because I am not, I don't like half-ass texting somebody, especially if it's somebody important. You know what I mean? Like, if someone's genuinely asking me about my life because they're, they just are curious and, you know, we haven't talked in a while, then I'm not going to reply to that just, yo, it's good. How about you? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to wait till maybe after work when I get home 
and I'm, you know, on the couch or like somewhere where I'm able to like sit down and actually have that conversation with them. Cause I'm not really a phone person. So that's not my thing. I'll just hit you up with those texts. I think the phone, I get mixed I get mixed reviews with this. Some people are on the same boat as me. Some people aren't. Aren't? aren't. What the fuck? It's like, I get really anxious when the phone rings. So, I need like a, I need like a, a warning. You know, I need like a, hey, I'm going to call you in 15 minutes. And then I'll be like, cool. Or I'll be like, nah, B. I'm about to, you know, take a shower or something. Not I'm probably not going to shower, but that's my excuse. I'll say something like that. Um, what was I going to say, man? I I have so, I have so much that I just wanted to talk about talk about with you guys. Well, talk about with myself and have you listen and then hit me up afterwards. So we can chat about it. Um, oh one of, one of these things I was thinking about. I was thinking about this earlier today actually, but it came up maybe couple of weeks ago I don't, I don't it could be a month it could be a couple of months ago at this point i don't like time is all just it's all one day now you know what i mean like it's already january 19th 2021 what is going on but i was i was the last time i was at somebody's house and i can't remember who it was and i was washing i was be like eight and then i was washing my dishes and then i was like thinking no i was thinking this when we were eating i was thinking like isn't it such a weird concept that we go to people's houses and we have like, you know, we eat and we just assume that people do shit the same way that we do to the same standard that we do. You know what I mean? Like, for instance, if I'm washing my forks, I won't just, you know, just scrub them and that's it. I'll like take the sponge and like put it between each, what are those things called, prongs of the fork. Because, you know, food gets in between and people don't get that shit. But, you know, you could go to like your buddy's house who doesn't give a shit about washing their dishes. And they just like, you know, a quick scrub. And then you just start using this fork that has old, crusty fucking, you know, steak from last week attached to it and then you're eat you're putting that into your you know what i mean like that's so weird and that it could be the same with you know if you go to your friend's house and you take a shower and you're using their towels you're hoping you're assuming that they you know wash that towel before they gave it to you or like you know they didn't just wipe something on you know like how I'm, i hope i'm making sense here just like small hygienic things like that you're just assuming that other people do that but other people could be like complete dirt and not you know what i mean like i don't have more examples but i i feel like you pick up what i'm putting down one of the other things i wanted to talk to kyle about this because me and him relate so much on this but like do you guys, or is it, are you guys normal, or is it just me, where because of my past relationships of being cheated on, is it just me, or like when you're watching, you know, a, a movie or a TV show, or you hear about somebody, you say like if you say for example, you're watching a movie, and the main character, you like them, they're they're likable and then halfway through the movie they cheat on their girlfriend or boyfriend do you like me immediately just hate that person now you know what i mean like cheating for me is like it's it's just like i feel like it's like traumatizing to me because i've been through it i felt it so as, as soon as i see that happen in a tv show or movie i'm like yo fuck that person you know what i mean i like completely write that person off i'm not like Oh, but maybe at the end of the movie, they're going to be like, wow, like I only cheated because blah, blah, blah. It's uh, the only exception, but I still was pissed when it happened. 
It's like, you know, when it's about to happen, you're just like, no, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. And then they do it and you're like, fuck. The only exception that I can think of is forgetting Sarah Marshall with, with your boy Jason Siegel. Because he does it and then he stops himself. But it's still shitty. You know what I mean? So I don't know if anybody else feels that way when that happens in a show or a movie. But it's definitely something that like when it happens and I'm and I'm watching it, I'm like, fuck that guy or that girl. I'm definitely not a fan. If you couldn't tell, I'm not a fan of anybody cheating. I've never cheated. I've been cheated on a couple times. This is where it would have been cool to talk to Kyle about this because I know he would he would feel me on that. He would be on my side because uh, he's also been in that boat, which is unfortunate for both of us. But, you know, it happens. It happens to the best of us and it happens to the worst of us. I don't even know if that's, I don't even know if that is that, is that a saying? I don't think that's a saying, but um, yeah, I don't know. I think, I think that's something, I think that's something, one of those things where you think it, but you're, you don't think that anybody else does, but then you're surprised at how many people actually do, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's, yeah, it's like they, it's one of those like TikTok trends. By the way, I think I talked about this on the last time. If you're still not on TikTok, or you, no, sorry, if you're not on TikTok, you know, just you're good. You're doing good. Stay away because it just consumes your life because it's so sick. If you're one of those people that's not going on TikTok because you think it's shit or you're just talking shit about people who are on TikTok, then whatever. We don't want you anyways. But for those people that are thinking about it and they're like, you know, you have an addicting, per, addictive personality, so. You know, Instagram gets you, Twitter already messes you up, Reddit is already taking up your life. If you're one of those people and you are you don't want to get TikTok because of that, then, you know, try to hold off as long as you can because it, it will take over your life. And basically, I know I've said this before, but the, the way that it works is so interesting because... Like, how it works on Instagram, like, curation, how it, like, kind of determines what you like by what you physically, like, like on Instagram. Instagrams is okay. Like, I find that if I like a picture of a girl who's good looking, and if I like one of those, right? I usually like more than one, but just for example, (laughs) if I like one of those... Then if I go to my search page, it's just all girls that look like that one girl. And then they're like, you know, it's all that's presented to me. But they won't look at like, you know, I like this picture of this fucking computer part or like this game meme. You know what I mean? By the way, I said game. I know it might have sounded like I said gay meme, but I meant I said game meme. It's just one of those M E M E M E. Just, just, just to clarify. Um, but basically, with TikTok, as long as you have it, I mean, as long as you use it for a couple of hours, even, but I would say a couple of days, and you use it properly, and by that I mean you you physically click on the heart button on what you like. And if anything comes up that you don't like, you hold on it and then you click not interested because then it's not going to show you stuff like that anymore. And the way that it just learns so quickly and then also like say you only liked videos of computers and video games, it'll show you that. But not only that, based on I don't know what it's based on. But it'll also all show. It'll also suggest you videos that are like kind of similar, but like not at the same time. And then you'll probably like those too. It's, it's so weird how it just it just knows. And that brought me to the conclusion the other day that I feel like if you go on a date with somebody and they also Like, you're both into TikTok. I feel like maybe after the second or third date, if you volunteer each other or you agree 
to both switch phones on TikTok, just TikTok. You don't have to, you don't have to, you know, search. You don't have to go to pictures. You don't have to go to messages. Just TikTok, and you scroll on their TikTok and see what kind of content they're interested in. I think that says a lot about that person. You know what I mean? Like, for instance, for me, my TikTok is filled with there's news, there's life hacks, there's girls with big butts, <laughs> there's um, like comedy skits, and there's musicians, lots of musicians. Most of my stuff, most of my feed is musicians. That's, that's going to give you a good um, outlook on the type of stuff I like, especially like the comedy portion and the music portion, where you could look at somebody else's and see maybe, maybe, maybe well, I can't speak, I haven't done this in a while, so I can't speak properly. Uh, you could see like, hey, maybe they're super conservative. Hey, maybe they <laughs> support Trump. Maybe they... Um, are into like the weird side of TikTok with like, you know, like stuff that when you see it, you're like, that is super not what I'm interested in. Or you're also interested in that weird stuff. And so are they. And then it's like, you would have never gotten there because maybe it's something like you don't talk about until later on. I don't know. I feel like it's a good thing and a bad thing. You would just have to be like, if you both agree that whatever happens, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's not like there's anything really bad on there, but I think you, you understand what I'm trying to say here. I think that's a good way to do a first date. And then one other thing about TikTok that I've, I've been seeing lately is a lot of people are posting videos of like old music from like, when I say old, I mean like 10 years ago old old emo music and being like oh man this was the golden age of music blah 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 they don't make music like this anymore here's the thing they don't make music like that anymore because you fucking guys stop buying it you stop supporting it you know what i mean like you now a lot of the times when you play that kind of old music people are just like yo why are you listening to that old emo shit or they're just like yo man like this was sick like it, it, and then you'll still post stuff being like, this is, you know what I mean? So those bands had to adjust their sound to stay relevant because everybody was like, hey, I don't like this kind of music anymore. Or I do, but I'm kind of sick of it. I want something new. And then like a new band comes out with a new sound and then everybody's like, oh, we got to sound like that now. And so like there's a lot, if you, if you actually search, there's a lot of bands that sound like those old bands that are playing music right now. But you, nobody wants to support them or nobody wants to give them a try. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many small bands that still, when you search them up and listen to them, their genre is, you know, emo or, like, just alternative or what's it called? Post-hardcore and, like, all that shit. So there, there are bands out there that still sound like those those old golden age bangers but a lot of those bands either stopped making that music because it wasn't selling or people weren't supporting them or they're just not bands anymore or you know the third option is they got in trouble because they're fucking their band members fucked up you know what i mean like those goddamn pop punk bands there's always there's always that one guy or sometimes multiple guys. Sometimes a whole band. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a catch-22, I guess. Because it's kind of our fault and it's kind of their fault in some situations. But, yeah, I don't know. I feel like if you really wanted to still listen to that kind of music, it's out there. You're just You just got to search a little bit. But yeah, I mean, we're, uh, I think because I have moved back to Cambridge, I don't know if I said that in the last podcast, but I'm now living back in Cambridge and I have like my own little apartment 
So I think as long as I have some things to talk about, I should be able to record more often and get these things going out. If if people even give shit anymore, like if you made it this far into the podcast, you're great. And I'm very happy that you listened. Um, this podcast has been going on for about two, three years now. And, you know, we get we get a decent amount of listens, but I think it's quite obvious by now that we we are uh we just like talking. You know, we just like talking. If you guys like listening, that's fire. If you don't, then you didn't make it this far anyways. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, if you uh if you have something that you want to talk about, if you want to come on the show and chat with me, Shoot me a shoot me a message on Instagram and we'll make it happen. If you also have a podcast and you want to do like a trade off where I have you on this one, I have you on mine, you have me on yours, that'd be fire. I'm down for that. So hit me up. If you have stuff that you want me to talk about, I know that last time people were saying that it'd be cool to give advice, but like obviously for me it wouldn't be I don't know. I, I I think I give pretty good advice, but I think that I would do some kind of like gimmick where it's like shitty advice. You know what I mean? Um, or like mediocre advice. But I, I mean, if it's a serious thing, I think I give pretty good advice. I think the next podcast I do might be a little bit more serious. Might talk about more serious things with, you know, with, but it's, 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 it's me. So it's still a hint of, hint of jokes. You know what I mean? And yeah, I think we'll talk about some more pressing issues. But for now, that's what you got. It's almost 30 minutes. That's fire. Um, hopefully I can get Kyle on the next one. This, this is the longest outro <laughs> to ever exist. I will see you guys never because I never see anybody because I'm recording into a microphone by myself. But um, thanks for listening. And uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram for updates or just to say what's up at Zach Patel. That's it. And yeah, I just got charged for another year of having this podcast. So, you know, I got to take advantage of that. So I'm going to just be posting more. So (laughs) if that's not reason enough, I don't know what is. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be signing off now. I was just going to talk to you later, but that's not. All right. Peace.